thirds we need to know our square numbers because that's the basics of thirds okay so 1 4 9 25 36 49 64 81 and 100 okay these are our square numbers that we definitely need to know so the first topic in thirds is simplifying thirds okay let's write down simplifying thirds so say you're given a third like root 48 and you're asked to simplify this now, if you had 48 as a normal number and you were asked to make a factor tree, you'd do the factors of 48 as 1 and 48, 2 and 24, 3 and 16, 4 and 12, 6 and 8. Okay, that's how you do a normal factor tree. Now, we need to do the exact same thing, but with square numbers. So, you need to find the biggest square number that's a factor of 48. In 48, the biggest square number is 16. So, if we did 48 divided by 16, we'd get... 3 so our factors of root 48 will be root 3 and root 16 now 16 is a square number therefore I can simplify it because I know that the root of 16 is equal to 4 so I'm going to write down 4 because root 16 is the same thing as me saying 4 now I can't simplify root 3 so it just stays as 4 root 3 now I put the 4 next to the root 3 because it's being multiplied and when they are multiplied you just put them next to each other okay let's do another example what if i had root 72 now the biggest square number that goes into root 72 if you're having a hard time finding out the biggest square number i suggest you write out your square numbers at the top and look at them and which one goes into 72 now i know 36 goes into 72 so i can split root 72 into root 36 and root 2 because 72 divided by 36 gives me 2. now root 36 36 is a square number so it can simplify to give me 6 and I'm left with 6 root 2 and there we go I've simplified it so another few examples could be root 27 root 20 and root 80 so I'm going to pause for two minutes and have a go at these three questions okay Okay, now that you've had a go at these questions, let's go through them. The biggest square number that goes into 27 is 9. So 27 divided by 9 gives me 3. Now, root 9 can simplify to give me 3, and I'm left with 3 root 3. The biggest square number that goes into root 20 is root 4. 20 divided by 4 gives me 5. Now, root 4 can simplify to give me 2, and I'm left with 2 root 5. Now, 80, can the biggest square number that goes into 80 is 16. 80 divided by 16 gives me 5. 16 simplified, root 16 simplified gives me 4, so I'm left with 4 root 5. So there we go, we've simplified these thirds. Now, what if my third looked something like this? 3 root 27. And you needed to simplify 3 root 27. Now, remember when a number is next to a third, it's being multiplied. So I can write this as 3 times root 27. Okay, now I'm going to simplify root 27. The biggest square number in root 27 is 9. Um, 27 divided by 9 is 3. Now remember, I need to bring this 3 down because it's being multiplied by this third, okay? So, I brought the 3 next to it, so it's 3 multiplied by root 9 multiplied by root 3. Root 9 simplifies to give me 3, so I've got 3 here and I've got root 3 here and I'm going to bring this 3 down. So 3 times 3 times root 3. Now these three, these two are numbers, whole numbers, so I can multiply them out. 3 multiplied by 3 gives me 9. So my final answer is going to be 9 root 3. Okay? Another example is if I had 5 root 28. Now this 5 is being multiplied by root 28. If I wanted to simplify root 28, the biggest square number that goes in it is 4. 28 divided by 4 is 7. Now the 5 is being multiplied by these two roots. Root 4 can simplify to give me 2, and root 7 stays. Now the 5 is still being multiplied by them, and that can simplify to give me 10 root Questions 7. Questions for you guys to try would be 4 root 54, um, 3 root 75, and 3 root 50. So pause this video, have a go at these three questions, and yeah, then I'll go through them. Okay, so you pause the video, you've had a go, and let's go through them now. The biggest square numbers that goes into 54 is root 9. So 54 divided by 9 is going to give me 6. The 4 is still being multiplied by them. Root 9 can simplify to give me 3. And the root 6 stays. Now the 4 is being multiplied by the 3 and the root 6. 4 multiplied by 3 simplifies to give me 12. And I'm left with 12 root 6. 
Now the biggest square number that goes into 75 is 25. So now I've got root 25. 75 divided by 25 is going to give me 3. Now the 3 is being outside is being multiplied by these two thirds. 3 multiplied by root 25 multiplied by root 3. Root 25 can simplify to give me 5. Now I've got 3 times 5 multiplied by root 3. 3 multiplied by 5 can simplify to give me 15 and I'm left with 15 root 3. Last one, the biggest square number that goes into 50 is root 25. 50 divided by 25 is going to give me 2. Now the 3 is being multiplied by them. So root 25 simplifies to give me 5. The root 2 stays. 3 multiplied by 5 can simplify to give me 15 and I'm left with 15 root 2. And there we go. That's how to simplify thirds.